After spending the beginning of November in Colorado, the last few weeks have been spent in the beautiful Wasatch Mountains of Utah. After riding the top of Big Cottonwood Canyon yesterday, we head down one stop for a mini surprise pow day at Solitude Mountain. Oh. Man, the van is a mess this morning. It snowed. It looks like dipping dots. Does it have dipping dots? It looks like it snowed like a quarter of an inch. The unofficial official snow stake shows dipping dots level of snow. But that means we could have six feet of snow up in the mountains. Driving up Big Cottonwood Canyon right now, and there's for the first time there's traffic, and I'm wonder I was like wondering why there's traffic, and I realized that it's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so people probably took Wednesday off, you know, had had a long weekend, so that's probably why uh, there is a little bit more traffic today. But guys, it is snowing. We might have just ran into a mini pow day. Don't know yet, but I can tell you the conditions up here are way different than what they were down in uh, Salt Lake. So whenever you see moisture or precipitation down low, it might not, you might not think that it's like mean snow up top, but it's always way better once you go up. So this could be a, this could be a sleeper mini pow day. We're going to solitude by the way. I don't think I've said that yet, but, and I don't think I've said good morning. So good morning. <laughs> big day guys today is our 20th ski day of the year 20 days before thanksgiving is pretty uh, incredible i've never ever skied this much in my life before and i think last year to give you guys an idea we skied i want to say we skied somewhere between 30 and 35 days last year because we were really just a weekend warrior and this year we've transitioned to being able to ski more you know full time um and so it's it's just been wild and so it's only right to celebrate i made hash brown sausage scramby eggs so kind of went in on the breakfast but i woke up and i was like yeah i need to eat well today but i honestly couldn't be doing this without you guys seriously like you might think what you know i'm just whatever i just watched the videos or or whatever i'll give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down but it, it really all of you guys combined has made all of this happen which is just it's still still very new to me still wild to even think about so should be a good day with a bunch of homies out there so get ready to uh share the stoke i haven't had to use the low light lenses i think Last time was maybe Loveland opening day when we were able to ski with Jonathan Buckhouse. So man, it's like whenever these come on, you know it's gonna be pretty gnarly, so. I don't love that people can see my eyes, but I gotta be able to see. Let's go. I feel like skiing hard today, I don't know why. I just feel like letting them rip. We have broken in the Stoke Elk, and now I feel like she just wants to run free. So last time we paid for parking when we didn't have to pay for parking and I paid $25. This time we have to pay for parking. I paid for parking and it was only $10. So it was like a holiday discount, but considered it a donation. Came up to the Summit Express chair, which is kind of uh, Solitude's like highest highest point. To see what's open up here. I haven't been up here yet this year, so I'm not sure. Um, it does look quite thin. I'm not sure exactly what we can get into. I feel so eager 
to like, hey, let's go ski, but also it's, it's still the day before Thanksgiving. So I need to remind myself, this is kind of abnormal for this time of year. Um, and so I'm gonna kind of work my way in the woods and the trees and see what I can, what I can find. But um, should have a nice little dusting underneath, uh, on top of all the cookies and stuff like that. So should be fun. I'm gonna probably just kind of cut around. very sketchy up there. It's all right. Experts only. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Playing in the trees. That's solitude. Sometimes you gotta drain the main vein. Whoa. That was stupid. Don't do that. That could have ended very poorly. This is such an interesting area. I've been here a few times, but it's like I always feel like I'm fishing my way down because you just never know what lurks behind you. But. Excellent snow, for sure. My toes were cold, so this is a good way to warm them up. Oh, look at that. Is that a drop? Oh my God, that's a cliff. Yep, back it up. I'm not trying to go cliff to flat. It's actually pretty good through here. Like. Again, this is the stuff I just love the JJ's for. It is such a powerful ski for stuff like this. Oh wait, gotta get some speed. What's up, dude? What up, <laughs> What's up, dude? Thanks, man. Yes, sir. That was kind of a sickly, unexpected line. I didn't even know where I was going. I swear I get so invigorated with the snow. Some people don't like it, they like the bluebird days, but when we have conditions like this and it just, it keeps snowing harder and harder, I'm just like, I'm in my element. This is so sick. I've been working the summit chair, kind of pushed out a little bit, and I have this beautiful, not a ton of vertical, 
but it's far out, so not a lot of people have come here. Hiked up a little bit, nice fresh snow. Just gonna be like one of those, kind of like just riding the wave moments, so. just been such a sick day. I mean, the powder can always be deeper, right? Conditions can always be better, but to have this sort of skiing still in November, I'm just I'm just blown away. I'm so stoked that we finally got a good uh, uh, November here and uh, just stoked that I'm actually be able to be out here and play the game. Just the fact that I can move, ski, it's like I'm just, uh, just grateful to even be out here and uh, just, just a sick day, but solitude, so. Thou shall not complain whilst out. In the mountains, this is the top of uh, Summit Chair, and it's just beautiful. You can see all the way out to Brighton, right down into Big Cottonwood, and now we've had just like this beautiful cloud movement and stuff like that. So, uh, just really, really amazing. Let's go guys, another message of support here. It says, thanks for the stoke, Z. Whoever Z is for watching this, thank you man. I love to see that. I think after all that today, we can consider this a mini sleeper pow day. And with all the people um, in the parking lot and, and all that sort of stuff, I was really surprised by just how, I mean, once I got up to Summit, there was no lift lines. I felt like I could see the same run and still find fresh snow. So you know it's a good day when you don't leave, you go to one lift, you stay there all day, and you just ski a bunch of terrain and still have good snow. So that's kind of what today was like. And again, for November, guys, I mean, this is nuts. So I'm soaking it all in. I'm not taking it for granted because it could stop snowing here, and, and then that's that. But um, tomorrow was Thanksgiving, and I'm going to be spending time with my mother and my sisters at some point. So I need to head back up to Park City. I'm gonna ski Park City or Canyons tomorrow anyways. And tonight is the live stream. So I need to head up there, head up the Canyon um, to get all that stuff sort of uh, set up. My favorite night of the week, Wednesday's live stream. So I have about 30, 35 minute drive up Parley's Canyon. Should be good. As always guys, it was an incredible stream. I really appreciate everyone who 
takes time out of their night to come hang out with the Stoke squad. I honestly was kind of in a rush once I found the parking spot for it by the time I loaded clips up and got the whole stream ready so I kind of forgot to actually film bits of, of the stream. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, mini pow day in solitude. So sick for day number 20. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys love the video. I'll see all of you guys in the next time. Happy Thanksgiving, fam. Make sure you guys spend it with your friends and family. I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys in the Stoke Squad as a whole. So thanks for watching. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.